Today I'm going to be teaching you some more tips and tricks for editing Simpson White videos. Hey guys, my name is Nick and welcome back to another video. So, um, now that the summer is drawing to a close, I'm going to be back on my regular uploading schedule, back on my YouTube grind, so expect regular videos. I know I said that throughout the summer, but this time I really quite mean it. Before we start the video, I'd like to thank everyone for all the support on the first Simpson Wave episode. Um, it's truly great to see that everyone enjoyed it so much and it brought in a load of new people to the channel, so I thought I'd make a part two. I don't usually do part twos, but this is a sort of an exception. Anyway, in this tutorial, I'm going to be using Premiere Pro. The same sort of effects are achievable in other editing software, just I'm going to be using Premiere today. So without further ado, let's jump into Premiere. Okay, so here I am in Premiere, and there's this little thing I put together you saw at the beginning of the video. This is a sort of different style than the last video, but like in the same genre. This is just sort of a looping sort of thing, like it doesn't change too much. The reason I did that is because there's a lot of videos like that on YouTube, and I wanted to show that as well. I didn't exactly show that that in the first video. It's mainly for like showcasing a song or something like that where they just have a sort of like aesthetic loop thing. And as always, all the footage and music I use in these videos will be linked in the description if you want to use it yourself. So let's dive right into this. First off, I'm going to start off with the uh, Bart loop, as you can see here. I'm just going to drag that in from this clip from The Simpsons I found. So the bit I want to loop is uh, this where um, Bart's throwing around the airplane. You may have to search to find something that you can loop like this, but there are many things you can do, like a character walking or something like that. This one is really useful as it's very easy to seamlessly loop. You just, just going to make a cut there where it's Bart's holding it. And I'm going to make a cut there where Bart's also holding it. So if I cut the rest of that out, you should end up with something that you can just seamlessly loop. I'm just going to copy and paste it again and as you can see it almost seamlessly loops you might want to edit the um, lengths of bits just so it loops better just play around with it and uh, yeah the next thing with this that I did is I slowed it down so all you need to do there is hit R on your keyboard which will bring up the rate stretch tool you sort of drag it out a bit not too far or the frame rate will be absolutely terrible. Probably just slow enough to bring the frame rate down a bit to give it more of that VHS style. Next thing I'm going to do, I'm not sure the key for this on Windows, but on Mac you just click on this and then you click option and drag up. This will create a copy of the video layer on top of this video layer, which we're going to manipulate to make an RGB split sort of effect. The way you do that is you just go to your effects and search up um, color balance RGB. That's the what make it's under image control and you want color balance RGB. You're going to drag that onto both clips. On the top clip, you're going to um, not touch the red, but you're going to make the green and the blue zero. Now you can see everything's red. Now you're going to want to click on the bottom one and you're going to get rid of the red. You're going to put zero in the red. Then going back to the top one, you're going to want to go to the blend mode and then set it to linear dodge. And as you can see, it just looks as it was in the beginning. But now, if we go to position and we change the number slightly, as you can see, uh, the color channel split and it gives this really cool VHS RGB splitty effect. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to nest these clips. And you click on one, you click shift, and then you click on the other. And then you right click and then you click nest. You're going to want to click OK, and now that it's all in one thing. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a color key. Now we type in color key. Uh, it should be the only one that comes up and we're going to drag that onto our video layer when choosing your clip you should go for a solid background that takes up quite a lot of the screen like a wall of a house or a sky like Bart is in front of now and what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click this eyedropper tool you're going to want to go over to your view window and you're going to want to click on the background and then you're going to want to come down and mess with these settings I'd usually set the color tolerance to about 30 then you're going to want to mess with like the edge thin and add feather and stuff like that just to try and make it look uh, how you want it when the background's dark it means there's nothing there so um, we can put clips underneath it to put a clip underneath it we literally just drag this up I'm going to use a clip from this really old cartoon from like the 1950s this clip here is just a spaceship going through space I'm going to scale this so that it fits in the frame with this I'm going to press C and I'm going to cut it go into press V and then delete this now I'm going to press R to bring up the rate stretch tool again and stretch um, this clip 
out a bit. So now we have this, I'm going to go back to the original um, edit and I'm going to go through some of the effects we put on top of that. One thing I did do in this that I didn't do in the other one is I um, reversed the clip so that the plane is flying backwards. The way I did that is I just press Command R to go into the clip speed slash duration, and I just I just click reverse speed. Then on top of this, I added an then on top of this I added an adjustment layer. And on this adjustment layer, I added a noise plugin to add some of this grain, as you can see on top of the on top of the image. And I um, also added my personal colour grading that I use for my cinematic videos and it worked really well here. It's just a lookup table LUT that um, kind of changes the colour of everything. Um, I thought this made it pop more and made it look more Technicolor I guess, I don't know. <laughs> but it looks kind of cool and if you want this LUT I might release it. I'm thinking of selling it but for like very little money like 20p or 50p or something like that. So you wouldn't really break the bank and this is a really cool LUT, I use it with all of my videos. Yeah tell me that you'd be interested in that down in the comments below. On top of this I then added a VHS overlay I found on YouTube. I, I just put it on top of everything, uh, changed the blend mode to uh, linear dodge which is add, and then set the opacity to 64%. The last two things I did was I added music. This song I found on YouTube and I really liked and it really kind of fitted the aesthetic of like space travel and stuff. I'll link it in the description, go show it some love. And I, and I also added this fade in. I couldn't be bothered to nest the whole thing and add an actual fade in. So I just so I just created some black video, put it on top and then keyframed it to uh, lose opacity over time. If you want to get one of these black video things, you just come down here to um, new item, click it, and then click black video. Thank you for watching this video, I really appreciate it. Um, if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn the bell notification button for uh, updates whenever I upload a new video. New chapter episode 2 is hopefully coming sometime this week. It's almost fully edited, here's a little snippet. Anyway, so if you like this video, please leave a like down below, and if you have any other tutorial suggestions, please leave a comment as well. Uh, I'd really appreciate it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.